you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over probably 1.1 million coin shopping spree. Things are going to be a bit out of order because I did do some things off camera, which I'm going to toss into the video. So, I purchased a few cards because obviously they were cheaper when I found them. But I will be making some additions to the team, upgrading some cards, finishing a set. I have a few things to make. The coin count here does not look as high as it is in total when you see all the things I'm going to buy. But you guys will understand as I keep going on. So, should be close to 1.1 million coins. I will explain how many coins to how much coins everything takes as it goes throughout the video. But guys, if you're new to the channel, just first off, actually, sorry for today. My internet went out today. I don't know what was going on. I was getting zero download speed. I couldn't post my video. It said it was going to be an hour to render. So that's why my legend video went up so late. So I tossed up an old video that I had rendered already that I was going to post at one. I had to post it early. So the whole day's been messed up, guys. So the channel's going to look a little off today. Sorry for that. Sorry for being late in the content. But guys, if you're new to the channel, smash the sub button. Grind to 10K by the beginning of September. I'm trying to get out here. You know, we're making moves. And if you're new to the channel, also turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Let's get this video to 250 likes, guys. It'd be greatly appreciated. It would mean a lot. And also comment down below if you think I should pick up anyone other than who I do. So starting off here, we're gonna sell you the 150 trophies here, which means we have enough for Von Miller. So that's gonna be the first pickup of this video. Obviously, he's free, but he still counts for the shop. It's free. Obviously, something he there's no value, so I'm not adding a coin value to him. But he is important. He's gonna be a big part of the team. And I'll show you guys at the end of the video as I, as I put them all into my lineup. So first off, we're going to go into store and go pick up this new Von Miller. I'm so hyped to finally have him. Took long enough. Competitive currency. Nat Von Miller right here. And there we go. Finally getting this Nat Von Miller. I've been hyped for this guy. It's a pretty cool animation, actually. Looks like something out of, like, looks like a Halloween animation. Check out the stats. 81 speed, 83 excel, 78 strength, 87 tackle, 93 play rec, 90 power moves, 83 finesse, and 87 block shedding. Comparing him to Kalo Mac. Below is away, Kalil Mac. I cannot wait to get this beast on my team. That'll be an awesome addition. Now I'll show you guys the clips of me getting the other two players I picked up and what I plan to do with them. Okay, guys, so as you guys saw in the other clips, obviously. So, guys, we're looking for a brand new lineman. We come over to 9091. This is when the legends were crashing. We're coming on over. We're looking down. I see Bruce Matthews for 230. Can't pass that up. Nice Bruce Matthews pickup. I needed a left guard to replace Andrew Norwell. So I obviously couldn't I couldn't pass up on this. Huge addition to the team. I'll be showing you guys how this all plays out towards the end as we get everyone in our lineup. Next, we're going to need some training, guys, to go power up some players and add some abilities to a certain player. You're going to see that I'm getting quite soon. So, got to get this guy right here. Refreshing the elites here to see what I can pull. Not pull, see what I can snipe out. Looking down. Searching, I was searching for Odell at first, actually. I kind of want to pick up Odell. But I, I started not to. Then I saw right here a Tom Brady for 126. Had to pick that up. Easy, easy training points right there, boys. Now let's go back over to the lineup and go just go over a few things that I'm gonna be picking up. All right, so the next piece we're adding to the team is Lawrence Taylor. Boys, this was expensive. Very, very expensive. I kind of I love him though, because he's gonna be he's gonna be on my team from now uh, all the way until the end of the year. He's gonna be a year-round player. So I really don't mind dropping the coin on a guy that's gonna be here all year. Lawrence Taylor is the best probably defensive player of all time. At least up there. And he's probably the best defensive player in Madden. Now, going through his abilities, he's going to probably need edge threat. He's probably going to need reach elite and under and power special. So I want to kind of get, I want to get all of them. So you can obviously get under pressure here. He can get only power specialist or reach elite here. So I'll probably go with power specialist. And then for edge threat, he gets dominant pass rush moves. So it comes down to reach elite or if I rather get power specialist. So it kind of all depends. This is faster power move animations. And this is, let's see. And then for edge threat is dominant pass rush move so i don't think these stack they don't stack so i'm hoping that those don't correlate because i don't want to waste coins that way but it should cost me it's gonna cost me about just, just pretty much that tom brady i got so i'm gonna go over sell this tom brady real quick so i can power him up you guys can see what we added so far we have lawrence taylor von miller bruce matthews now head on over to that tom brady kind of hurts me to quick sell a player like this but he's gone now we got the trade let's power up this um lawrence taylor and i kind of want to before we power up Lawrence Taylor, I mean, chem him up. I want to see what Von Miller can get. Because I kind of want to do Von Miller, but I don't want to power him up because I kind of want to have Mac long term. Let's toss lockdown on him so he has the chems with the rest of my team. Upgrade here. What abilities can he get? He can get under pressure. Let's upgrade everything. He can get reach elite, edge threat. Same things as Lawrence Taylor. Now, I haven't decided what I want to do with him. I might not have to put anything on him just yet. I haven't really decided because... It does come down to who I'd rather have on the team long term. I don't know if Von Miller's a long term option. I think I'd rather have 
Khalil Mack long term. So still debating that one. Now coming over to Lawrence Taylor. Let's get these abilities on him. Gonna be a staple for this team for the rest of the year. Very hyped to have him. Okay, so X Factor, he can get Fear Monger and Stoppable Force. From what I've read, a Stoppable Force is the way to go. So I'm gonna go ability slot. Let's go edge threat. There we go. Got that on him. And then I'm probably going to go. I love Reach Elite. So I don't really know what I want to do here. Do I go Reach Elite or do I go faster power move animations? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go power specialist. And then for this one right here, I can do under pressure. But I think I want to get it. Now I'll go under pressure for now because X Factor is really hard for him to get. If you guys know how that works, X Factor is really hard because he needs three sacks. Like, obviously, he can get two. He might even get three, but not, not that common. So I'll wait on the training points for that. Next on the list is going to be powering down Andrew Norwell, getting some training back there. That might be just enough to get what I need. So I don't need Andrew Norwell anymore. Let's see. How much would it cost me to get that back? I'd be. Uh, seven, 670 training. Do I really need that right now? I'll worry about that later, actually. So next, I go over to the team, show you guys what we're working with so far. So grand total, Lawrence Taylor cost me about 400K to buy. His power up and all the training cost me about another 150K, so that's like 550K. And then, what's his name? Bruce Matthews was 230. So that's like already at six, seven, about like 780,000 coins. And then the Tom Brady cost me another 130K. So that's like... 910k right there now i want to pick up another player so i'm gonna go over to the lineup and show you guys what we're working with as i put them in the lineup so you guys can see the overall hopefully the overall goes up i think i made a pretty good amount of additions here so let's toss in bruce matthews so the overall stays the same there but i do have a beastly old line now at least now go over to the defense i'm gonna toss in kind of pain to get rid of mac i don't know if i'm gonna sell him yet because i want to hold him for most fear but i think he should go down in value at that point so the overall stays the same again there. Now, here, here's the dilemma I was having. Do I upgrade cornerback? I'm going to go check out the price of Willie Brown. If he's cheap enough, I'll definitely work towards Willie Brown. But for now, the defense is looking fine. So I think I might just upgrade. If I don't get Willie Brown, I'll probably end up trying to get a fullback here to replace Sherman because I do do a lot of running. So that's definitely beneficial. Or Odell Beckham Jr. So let's head over to the auction block and go check out what we can do. So I would love Odell, but... I do have Tyreek Hill, and as much as I think Odell's better, Odell's very expensive right now, so it might not even be worth it. Let's check out wide receiver to see what Odell's going for. Hopefully, Odell's affordable. I don't know if he will be, though. The moment I'm gonna have to, Once I sell Mac, I'll have a lot more coins, but for the video purposes, I can't. No, Odell's overpriced right now. Great card. But the way I come out a lot is typically in two wide receiver sets with a lot of running, so I don't really care about the receiver position as much at the moment. I do want a fullback though. I was debating on getting this fullback right here, but I think the cheaper and more budgety option that I think will fit my team better will probably be this Patrick Ricard right here. So before I do that, let's check out the cornerbacks, make sure we're not missing out on anything. But that should come close to completing the spree as I go through. Let's see cornerbacks, Jason Seahorn, Jalen Ramsey. All right, I want Willie Brown. So let's go see what Mel Blunt's going for and then Willie Brown. So Mel Blunt's right there. Charles Tillman, Peanut Brown. Peanut Tillman, I mean. Okay, let's see what Willie Brown's going for. Willie Brown's going for 477k, so I could get his power up and just power up him all the way. That's a viable option, but I think he's too expensive. I'm letting him down a little bit, but he is probably the best cornerback in the game right now. Him and Stephon Gilmore easily. So I'm going to go pick up the fullback. That should complete my team for now. I think that's a great buy, in my opinion. This Patrick Ricard, definitely with the way I run the ball. Definitely use my fullback a lot. Let's compare him to Anthony Sherman. Compare it to Anthony Sherman, he blows him away in run block lead blocking and impact blocking definitely a good ad i wish his run blocking was slightly better but for the price he's definitely worth it so let's pick him up real quick toss him onto the squad and then we'll confirm how much coins we spent and we'll look into this real quick okay let's toss him on so it wasn't the biggest shopping spree in terms of how many cards i got but in terms of the price definitely was a good one Definitely going to be big. I cannot wait for Weekend League to get my team rolling. 88 overall, so we did just hit it. I didn't think the fullback would make the difference, but he did. Now, I want to get my zone run up a little bit, so let's toss a chem on him real quick. Upgrade. Let's give him some zone running. There we go. I want to get them to tier 30, but at the moment, it's kind of annoying because I want to get I want to do dual chem, so I need some backup players first before I can do all that, obviously. I gotta get them on the wide receivers. I have not done that yet, but I'll be working on that. Let's get it on Bruce Matthews. 
upgrade right there five training zone run times two that should cover us for the 15 out of 15 yeah 15 out of 15 right there should i say 15 out of 30 so this is what the team's looking like right now guys we got patrick card at fullback we got lt and von miller at outside linebackers and then we also have bruce matthews so sat it up now so bruce matthews i did get him for cheaper but i could probably sell these cards back for bruce matthews I could probably sell for like 260 plus for cards so that's 75k so what's that we're like at three three let's go with 340 i'll round it up like 5k Lawrence Taylor was a grand total of about 550k, so that's about 890k. And then you add up 890k with the training from Tom Brady, and that comes out to a grand total of a little over a million coins. So I'll be about, about a million coin shopping spree total. Lawrence Taylor is pretty expensive. Gladly Von Miller was free though, so all I gotta do is toss some cams on him, get some more training. But I don't have enough coins to get much more training right now. I don't want to be entirely broke in case anything cool comes out. I do want to still get that Willie Brown. So if I do get that Willie Brown, I will make a lineup update for you guys when the time comes. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, smack the like button, guys. Show some love on this video because a lot of my videos busted today really bad because of the timing and my internet. Just really, it, was, it was a rough day for, for my content creating career, guys. But if you guys did enjoy, smack the like button. Let's get this video to 250 likes. Smash the sub button. Get your boy to 10K by the beginning of September. I greatly appreciate that. Turn on the noti bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. And comment down below who you think I should also get on this team and what overalls your teams are. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.